there's not much to say about points in architectural form because as um, the zero dimension, um, we don't really know how to um, evaluate points as they relate to our 3D environment. Um, but one very important architectural idea is, the, is two points and how they start to um, give insight into higher dimensions like a line and a plane in an architectural setting. Um, so the first thing that two points does is it suggests a line and that line is the line connecting them. Obviously this line has a set distance um, this line suggests a longer line, but it's a, this is a, a very minor suggestion. This is mainly, um, you work, care about the world inside these two points. Uh, think about, say, two trees. So I'm going to draw two trees. If you see two trees in a field, you're immediately going to care about what is that distance? What would it feel like standing between those trees? and maybe what is framed by that view and what happens when I walk through. Which brings to the next point, the very important thing about two points in space is that the second effect is to suggest a perpendicular axis. And because this axis is clearly infinite as opposed to the constraints of these two points in this direction, then you have almost always a much more important sense of direction. So when you see two points such as two trees in a park, uh, you, you care about the gateway that it creates, the threshold through this plane, um, but more importantly you care about walking between those two trees. Uh, possibly an even better example of this and what you see in architecture is the idea of the entrance or the threshold, which is almost always two points. Uh, think about the gate that opens up to a courtyard and how uh, the two points set a line which is the boundary of that place but then you care about entering that space a lot more and how those two points when you later extrude them to lines set a very obvious architectural threshold.